Turning this way, be careful, guys. What are you doing? Cima, né? Aqui, ó. We can see the guy there. I, I think they hit him because the guy is he looks dead. assassination attempt has dominated the news right around the globe since it happened. Joining me now is former police officer and the founder of Global Security and Investigative Services, Dean Glamis. Thank you for your time. Uh, I guess just starting with the security situation, trying to understand how this happened for that situation. So not a president, but a former president and a presidential candidate, not quite officially, but he was essentially. Would the security threshold be at its highest at that point or a bit lower compared to the actual President Joe Biden. It should be exactly the same. I mean, the reason we have Secret Service protection for past and current presidents 
is not, not just for their own personal protection, it's protecting them for what they may know. They know a lot of secrets about our country, and we have to protect these people at the highest level. Uh, historically, Secret Service protection for a former president is not as robust as it is for the current sitting president. However, what we saw Saturday night, let's be clear, was an abject feel failure on the part of the Secret Service. And I never thought I would say that, but they made so many amateur mistakes uh, setting up this event. It's, it's mind boggling. So let's go through what you believe they are. One of the most spoken about ones is that the shooter was 150 metres away on a rooftop. Now this was a weekend What's the normal scenario on how far they can sort of clear places? Because from my understanding, it's an industrial area. Are people there entitled to come and go and sort of show their, their work IDs or that sort of distance, which is not that far for a shooter, would those sort of areas nearly normally be totally cleared and essentially, um, you know, shielded off by security? Well, when they do something called an advance before an event like this, they're going to... They're going to... Uh, do a, a preview of, of the event, and they're gonna select areas which are high risk. Uh, elevated space with a direct line of sight at the podium where the former president will be speaking, a mere 130 yards away is a major red flag. That's a, that's a building you will want to secure. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily we have to have a Secret Service agent sitting on the roof, but they partner with local police at these events, state, local, uh, other federal agencies, and they could lock down that parking lot and they could restrict access. They could monitor who comes in and comes out. They, they most definitely should have monitored uh, the rooftop to make sure nobody crawls on top of the roof. If you think about it, there's drones at rock concerts. There's all sorts of technology deployed for minor events. You're telling me a 20 year old kid just scurried up on a roof 130 yards away from the man who's probably gonna be president of the United States and got all five, six shots at him? It's unbelievable, really. That's mistake number mm -hmm. one, that that, uh, that weakness, that, that elevated point of attack was not identified prior to the event and secured. That's, that's mistake number one. Yeah, and so you can see that area from photos is fenced off as a facility, so it could have been secured. Once that failure happened, I suppose, a lot of the other images people are looking at for the snipers who are on in the areas nearby, they seem to be focused on things further away. Does that imply they sort of thought that closer target was not going to be a threat? So to their understanding, that would have been cleared and it wasn't. Is that, is that what you take? Is that, would that be their normal role? They'd be looking further out for non-secure areas, that this should have been a secure area? Well, they're gonna be looking at the crowd as well. They're, they're monitoring the crowd, because again, they may have searched everybody going in, but people are clever on how they can uh, get weapons into an event like this. They're looking everywhere. I, I believe that they, mm. it's, my, it's my understanding from sources that I have, that that uh, area was not secured at all. People could come and go as they please into that facility, uh, un okay. unchecked, which is just mind boggling. Given what you call this failure, do you think this is the last open air rally we'll see in this campaign? I believe that this, this is going to be severely discouraged for President Trump. And, you know, he loves these rallies. This is what he's known for, right? But they have other things they can deploy. They can deploy clear bulletproof shields in front of the speaker. I think we're going to start to see, at the very least, those being deployed. Uh, but I believe they're going to be strongly discouraged from this point until Election Day. Dean Glemis, appreciate your time today. Thank you.